Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So today, let's try to understand how to activate financial dimension from the front end. Without putting the environment on the hold, we have an option to activate financial dimension. So let's explore that. So let me create one financial dimension. So go to general edge, then dimensions for chart of accounts, dimensions, financial dimensions. Let's create a new financial dimension and activate that from the front end. So click new. You can create custom dimension or derived dimension. I'm just creating one. Let's call this as maybe sub business unit. So I'm just giving it as sub BU. So as you can read here, system says that once you create it, in order to activate this dimension, you need to put the environment on maintenance mode. Let me just click close as of now. So let's say when I create the dimension is in inactive. You can even add dimension values. But how do you activate this from the front end? So for to activate this, go to data management. Let me just go to data management. So go to workspaces, data management. Okay. So let me first create one export. So there is an option in data management that is called as, or, or how do you do this? Is we let me export and then let's re-import the same file, which is related to activating the dimension. Once you do that, my dimension will be activated. So let's say DA test export, then click add entity. So data format, I'm going to select Excel. Entity name. This is something you guys need to remember. So there is an entity called dimension attribute activation. So let me select that dimension attribute apply. So here you can see there is a field called or <coughs> an entity called dimension attribute activation. So this entity help us to activate financial dimension from the front end without putting the system on the maintenance mode. So let me just click export now. So once it's exported, you can download the file. Okay, so the file is downloaded. So if you want to see the downloaded file, so here I can see this is the file which I just downloaded, which says that activate financial dimension to yes. So there is no data. Once you import this, every dimension which is in inactive status will get activated automatically. So let me just close this file. Let's import this. We come back to D365 backspace. Let's go on import this. So from export, let's click on import project. So give a name, let's say dimension import, then add file. Remember the entity name, it is dimension attribute activation. So select that dimension attribute activation and then upload and add file. So upload the file which I just downloaded. So let me just go to downloads. So this is the file which I downloaded. I'm just importing the file which I downloaded. Close. Select this and click import now. Once it's imported successfully, go back to financial dimension which we created. The status was inactive. Just refresh this and you can see the status is active. This is how you can activate financial dimension from the front end using data management without putting the system on the maintenance mode. That's it for this video. Thanks everyone.